now i hope it's very clear sir how you can use jbc concept for java application side sir now it's a very very important question for the entire room what are the differences between jdbc and odbc or odbc and jdbc very important question for the entire room just i will discuss right sir odbc is a technology from microsoft jdbc is a technology from sun micro systems regarding just observe that sir it is a microsoft technology it is a sun sun micro systems technology right if you observe their business strategies just have a look one sir odbc concept we can apply for any language no restrictions right you can apply for c language c++ java or vb like for any language you can apply odbc concept we can apply odbc concept for any database are getting we can apply odbc for any database microsoft people only provide a odbc driver for oracle odbc driver for excel odbc driver for cybase like microsoft people only provide a sir odbc driver for almost all databases are getting for any language you can use for any database you can use but only for windows machines only for windows machines observe that okay sir because it is the it is the technology from microsoft right they have to promote their operating system that's why it is applicable only for one windows machines so let me talk one second sir odbc we can use for any language for any database but applicable only for windows machines right some people tried for linux they they failed they failed to develop odbc drivers for linux operating systems right so make sure sir odbc applicable for any language for any database for only for windows machine so their business strategy to promote their operating system right same way jdbc concept sir if i consider jdbc sir jdbc concept applicable for any any database are you getting you can use for any database you can use for oracle mysql cybase db2 like any database jdbc concept you can apply for any platform for any platform sir you can use for windows you can use for linux you can use for unix you can use for so sun solar is like for any platform you can use but uh, only for java language are you getting only for java language ab ja because they require to promote their language right okay so take a bit very special care internally their business strategies right odbc concept applicable for any language for any database but only for windows machines next the jdbc concept is applicable for any database for any platform but only for java language are you able to understand right okay but anyway what are various differences between odbc and jdbc just let me list out sir but anyway just to take a bit very special care for java application odbc concept is not recommended performance problems and the platform dependent nature by default will be there because of these reasons we never recommended to go for one odbc concept for java applications highly recommended we should go for one jdbc concept for java applications right sir what is what is odbc what is odbc open database connectivity what is the jdbc java database connectivity right odbc concept introduced by microsoft in 1992 jdbc concept introduced by sun microsystems in 1997 of course uh, sir you know the internal jdbc for jdbc introduction internally odbc is the reason because almost all the same terminology okay uh, will is uh, adapted from adapted to jdbc from odbc right clear for all of you okay just let me summarize all the differences right just have a look once differences between odbc and jdbc right odbc jdbc odbc stands for open database connectivity jdbc stands for java database connectivity right next uh, introduced by microsoft and some other associates in 1992 but introduced by sun microsystems in 1997 clear right 
Next, uh, we can use ODBC for any language, for any language like C or C++ or Java, etc. But we can use JDBC only for Java language. Remember that it's applicable only for what? Java language. We can use ODBC only for Windows machines, only for Windows platform, but we can use JDBC for any platform, no problem at all, sir. Next, mostly ODBC drivers are developed in native languages like C or C++, but most of the times JDBC drivers are developed in Java, right? Okay. Next, uh, for Java application, it is not recommended to use ODBC because of performance down, internal conversions due to internal conversions and the application will become platform dependent application will run only for Windows machines, right? Because of the these two reasons. One is performance problem. Second one is application will become platform dependent, sir. Because of this, ODBC concept not recommended to use for Java application. For Java applications, it's highly recommended to use JDBC because there are no performance problems and the platform dependent problems. Clear for all of you, So most valuable question for the entire room. What is the difference between JDBC and ODBC? You should be in a position to tell all these differences, right? Okay, that's all, sir.